Greetings, everyone. I am Lotus Prince, and for this Let's Play, we are going to tackle Limbo. This game was gifted to me a while ago by Roller42, so thank you very much for that, Roller42, because this game is awesome. It says a lot by saying a little. This game does a lot with what it has. It's a minimalistic black and white puzzle platformer game, but the things you accomplish in this game are interesting indeed. You are a nameless boy who is looking for his sister, and the only reason I even know that is because that's what it says on the Steam page before you launch the game. If you just play the game without having read any outside material, you don't even know that much. You're just some kid who is going from left to right to try to find something, a way out perhaps. It's really interesting how the game conveys what's going on. It's very interesting with its visuals. A lot of haze going on, interesting atmosphere, things in the background, more important things in the foreground, and the sound design is truly something else. You're going to find that a lot more of the sound effects you hear in the game where the background noises are cues. They sound like atmospheric ambience, and they kind of are, but you'll see that they also serve a functional purpose. This game is very brilliantly designed. So let's take a look and see what happens when we wake up in the middle of a forest. Where are we? How do we get out? Where's our sister? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go crazy. Well, well. Let's go. Interesting, interesting setting so far. I guess I'll uh, check what's up here. Uh, new game load settings. I think we're actually good with brightness. You know what? Let's just let's just go into it. We have the boy. There it is. I had to actually press a key to get him to open his eyes. This is something that took me actually a little bit to figure out the first time I played this game. It's entirely up to the player. Now the controls are very, very simple. Arrow keys, and then the interact button. Oh. Sweet little sort of bonus thing that gives you an achievement, I guess. In any case, all I really need to worry about is left, right, and up. I can't use down yet because there's no ducking, it's just if I'm climbing down a ladder or something. And there's the first death moment of the game. And I neatly avoided it because I'm pro as hell. Now the game gets tougher than this. More on that a little later. I do find it fascinating that you're in the middle of this forest with no really good explanation. Just creepy stuff going on in the background, you don't really know what's up. You're going to find that the sound design in this game is very interesting has cues that you might not expect. But for now, let's just take in the spectacle. Everything is very hazy. It adds to the sort of surreal quality that this game is trying to push on you. It does it very well. 
in any case we've sailed far enough. However, my jumping is garbage. Fortunately, there's this little handle on the boat you may have noticed. I love it. This game really throws you for a loop sometimes. Wait till it gets started. There we are. The good news is what we lack in jumping ability we make up for in climbing ability. This kid's got some upper body on him. Look at this forest. Just where are we? Also, no. No. I always try to jump these carefully because as you can see, you can barely make it over those things. It's pretty intimidating when it wants to be. Oof, I'm never reaching the cliff's edge like that. Also, what is this thing? Whatever it is, we're going to do away with it. Watch this. Ugh. You'll notice that the sound of even the flies went away when we took out the meat. It's just a little thing that you may not have been aware of it as a background noise unless you're kind of paying attention to it. But once it's gone, the silence becomes all the more apparent and signifies that the puzzle has been solved. Oh. That could have been ugly. Very ugly. Moving on some more. Well, not getting up there. At least not now. Oh, well, no. Now's good. Crates you will find are our friends. Also, new game mechanic. How do you like that? And now I want to start being careful because it's getting to the point where a fall... Well, okay, now it's definitely a point where a fall can kill me. And again, jumping is not so great in this game, so I need to be careful. Also, see that rope? It doesn't lead to anywhere I need to go. Just another one of those white eggs, I think, so I don't really care. I'm not achievement hunting. And you're not going to see anything unique that you wouldn't otherwise have seen. It's just another little white thing that I stepped on in the, uh, the first part of the game, so I don't really care. I'm not looking for that stuff for the purpose of this Let's Play. No need to put myself at unnecessary risk. Oh yeah, also, did I mention I can't swim? Water? Bad. That's why we need that log. If you're in the water for more than, I think, like one second, you're dead. Also... Huh. That can just stay where it is, thank you. Good. Listen to that rumble. It sounds like the first time Darth Vader used the Force. Did you hear that metal clang? Notice anything different? Also, I find it interesting that this giant, terrifying, terrifying spider doesn't bite, but rather tries to stab me with his freaking legs. Alright, easy now. It is surprisingly easy to die, just trying to jump over one of these bear traps. Or should I say spider traps? Watch this. Gross. What's that? You want some more? Okay. And there's a gotcha moment right there. That would have killed me. Now, moment of truth. See you in hell. Also, 
gross. Also, also, the rumbling is gone, again signifying that this puzzle is over. You're gonna hear several things like that throughout the game, and they're always implemented brilliantly like that. In any case, I'm glad we got rid of the spider. You'd think once you lost one leg, you'd call it quits? No, we have to take off friggin' three from this thing. At least he's gone. Also, I can't jump. Also, I can't move. Also, the rumblings. Oh, God. Okay. Freaking disgusting. You can kind of see the hairs on his legs, too. Oh, this thing is freaking gross. Five-legged monster. Ew. Well, to go from one Star Wars reference to another, I guess now it's like that scene where Luke's upside down trying to get out of here before the Wampa gets him. Except we don't have a lightsaber to help us. Also, I can't walk. I must jump. So there's that. Let's get the hell out. This place is weird and scary. Also, careful. Bit of a tricky jump there. If you're just not paying attention and holding the jump button, of course you will die. Oh! Well, I'm dead. That was a stupid death, too. I really hate dying in the dumbest ways, because this game has way harder moments than this. And I just made, like, a dumbass move. Also... That also would have killed me. A lot of things in this game would kill me. As we shall soon... see. Anyway, let's move on. Looks like we've made some sort of method for getting out of here. I'll take what I can get. All I have to do is just not fall asleep at the wheel here and just slowly work my way backwards and very quickly roll the boulder forward. Oh god, very quickly. Can I do it more quickly, please? Why is the spider taking its time? I mean, thank god, but... Uh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Work works works for me. I'm safe for now. I'll take what I can get. Get up, goddammit. There we go. Got a little piece of web on my head. I don't care. Anything but that Hey. Uh oh. Well, you're not the sister. I guess good news, because if you were, that'd be a horrible end. See that up there? Tricky, tricky. This game has a few gotcha moments like that. Gotta be paying attention. Very close attention. Anyway, now where are we? You know, this whole time I'm kind of hoping that moving forward is taking us to our sister, and look behind us. You see to the right of this platform standing on below? It looks like there's someone impaled on spikes back there. Freaking grim. Speaking of impaled on spikes... Ugh. I'm glad that wasn't me. This game is brutal. Yes, that jump was necessary. Also, sweet musical cue. Also, that's another gotcha death right there, those spikes below. Oh, no, 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 no. I was close enough that I could climb down. Boy, would that have been a dumb death. Let's get the hell out of here. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> hey, who the hell are you? 
<laughs> Look at that. These guys must know about the giant spider. I wonder what they think when it stops by. Anyway. Oh, nope. No, thank you. Clearly someone wants me dead. A flaming stone wheel? Who the hell are you guys and why do you want me dead? Maybe I ought to come over there and kick your asses. Not that I can fight in this game, but I'll see what I can do. These guys really don't want me around. What are they? They're creepy is what they are. Also notice that I have glowing eyes and no one else seems to. See that? And this guy clearly wants me dead. Watch out. This is this is a tricky one. Check it. Ooh. How about that? Not that I can jump over there now, but... There is this rope. Using their traps to my advantage. Try not to notice the creepy hanging corpses. What is the society of people? Where are we? What do they want? Why are they doing any of this stuff? You could argue I'm an intruder, but what about those other dead? Got okay. I'm gone. Okay. Guess what? Terrifying solution ahead. Check it. Go. Don't mess up the jump. That probably would have killed me if I messed up the jump. Easy. Ooh. Okay. Well, clearly you see how I have to solve this rock puzzle. Right? There. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. Well, if that didn't take out the spider, nothing will. I think we're good. Let's see if those punks at the village go thank me for saving them from the scourge that is that spider. You know, I don't know what's worse in this game, having this sense of solitude or being with those just punk kids. You can't be serious. Also, ew. Hey, you want to see something gross? You want to see something way more gross? I was terrified of doing this when I first played the game. I could have sworn this thing was going to bite me. But no, I have to push this gigantic hairy head with my bare hands. Why? Here's why. And that rumble is gone for good. And so is the spider. He was a good nemesis. I'm kind of sad he's gone. Like, I, I really am. You don't have another thing chasing you the whole time for the rest of the game. Closest you could come is these punk kids. Speaking of which, I need to deal with these punk kids. Ugh. What did this guy do to deserve this? I'll take this crate. Glad I don't have to push the one with the freaking dead body in it. 
moving on. Easy enough puzzle, right? And away we go. But to where? Ugh, gross little worms in the water. Also, gross corpse in the water. And another one below it, reaching up. What, do they get that guy some men's shoes? Sick freaks. Oh. Well, that's dark. Clearly that white slug is a bad influence. Also, that, that music is still there. Also, very... Yeah, subtle. Look at this, he's just, he's just watching, waiting for me to die. Asshole. I'll deal with him. Oh, just threw a rock at me. I don't know if you noticed, far right side of the screen. Well, I'll deal with him. I didn't want to push a freaking corpse-bearing crate, but instead I'll push a corpse <laughs> it's by itself with my bare hands. However, I can at least make this trap irrelevant. And again, the sound stops. Brilliant design. I love it. Also, ew. Although those things do seem to want to eat the worms, so they instantly get points for me. Ugh. Moving on, anyway. These guys still want me dead and their traps are failing. Okay, look very closely. The ground around the platform is way too flat. There's your hint. Hmm? And now here, the ground is uneven, meaning it's natural. Tricky, tricky. Anyway. That guy is full of arrows. And I don't think I could jump this. Can I? That's kind of a jump. Also a hanging body up there. Well... Oh, nope. Oh, forget this. What? God, I always forget that. God damn it. Well, that tension was killed, now that you know what I have to do. I always screw that part up, at least once. So there's stupid death number two. Well, it was only half stupid death, I was concentrating. Let's do it for real. Take that, you freaks. Sick, twisted demon children. I'm glad they're gone. Man, but they're killing everybody. How many people came here? Whatever. Not my problem. Here is my problem. This puzzle, in my opinion, is one of the more annoying ones. It's, it's decent to figure out, but the execution always seems to baffle me. Allow me to show you what I mean. Yeah, that'll do. Check this out. Also, yes, these gears will crush me if I just let myself slide through them. There. Once again, the sound stops. How do you like that? Anyway, tricky part. Here goes. Good. And now... It's this timing. It always seems to baffle me. Now I got, I got my first try this time. I think that's a first for me. Sweet. That puzzle usually keeps me occupied for a little while. Consider yourself lucky. Uh, ew. 
Well, bye, frog thing. Or whatever you were. Ugh. And here's why I hate the worms. I can jump. I can run. That sunlight affects me, but otherwise I cannot change direction. The best I can do is slow down. The sunlight is what makes me turn around. So until I run into sunlight again, I am stuck going to the right. This can very easily lead to my death, as it... Ugh, as it did that swimmer before. Well, the guy who tried failed to swim. So this, this one's a freebie. As long as I don't screw up the jump. Okay. I just get nervous because you only get one shot at it. Now you know how the worms work and how to deal with them. Get ready for harder worm puzzles later. That one was just a taste. Here's something, on the other hand, that I particularly enjoy. There's the frog thing. He wants those mushrooms that the first one did. I will help him out. And now I get him from the other way. Where are you gonna run now, punk? Where are you gonna run? Where are you gonna run? Keep going. Gotcha. You have turned from frog thing to gerbil. And now let's sweeten the deal. What a cool effect. Why did I do this? You shall see very shortly. Here's why. I need that water. Oh, but not yet. Now I need the water. How about that? Let's see if I can give myself a head start. Oh, I can. A little swing. Perfect. Puzzle solved. Ah, a day in the life of this unnamed boy. All to go forward into the unknown. Think about it. Well, I'll take the crate whenever I can get it. Oh, yes. Get ready for stress. Uh, ooh. Perfect. And now I chill out for a little while. And watch out for the spiked ceiling. There, that was fun. Too bad the water's still coming. Also too bad this crate has a hole in it. Well, I'll do what I can. Uh, that water level's really rising too. There we go. Like that Silent Hill fan up there. That water's... jeez. Okay, we're still not done. Check this out, this part's tricky. At least to figure out. To execute's not too bad, but watch this. Catch. And then. And then. And yes, I am jumping to give myself a head start, because if you walk in the water, it is a slog. And finally, this ought to do it. This is one of those puzzles that you solve by repeatedly dying at each step and learning how it goes from there. Easy now. I need to be able to jump to that ledge, please. Nailed it.
Oh god, I hate this puzzle. It always seems to take me longer than it has any right to. Oh well. Let's try it out. As you can see, the water level is nowhere nearly high enough for me to be able to reach that crate, so I need to go back. Uh, this always takes me longer than it has any business to, but let's see what happens. Easy now. Now I get the feeling if I were to just undo the water thing again, I think I would just reset the puzzle. That's what bothers me. Unless I just add more water to the right side? Let's see. This is why I can't stand this puzzle. Maybe now I'm good, because I thought the water level's raised on the right side. I should still be able to make this jump, I think. It just is going to suck. Okay. Oh, there we are. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. That's kind of a trick jump. I always think I can't make it. But I can. Take that, worms. Well, it looks like the next puzzle is upon us, but for now, I shall stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We started the game, made it through an entire forest section, took out our nemeses, the spider, and those creepy... village children? I don't know what to call that place they were living in, but they sure killed a lot of people. Probably best that we put them down, but now we're in some sort of weird water factory-ish looking area. How did it come to this, and what are we supposed to do from here? And how are we supposed to deal with that stupid worm? Guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Until next time, everyone.